Welcome back everyone. So, how have you been? I've been fine the past week it has been already. Uh, so it was, uh, well, as always, a busy week. I was uh, busy working. I'm diving into uh, Azure Logic Apps. Uh, I'm helping the operations team to do some stuff. Uh, to, to do some automated tasks like creating backups, restoring backups of SQL Azure, Table Storage, Cosmos DB, other uh, data repositories. So uh, we could create Azure Functions uh, for this or, or some other scheduled tasks for this, but it's doing code isn't something operations people like spending their time in uh, or like spending to do. Uh, of course, there is PowerShell support for Azure Functions, so they could do this, but the team I'm working with likes to have stuff in a visual way, so I'm doing Logic App workflows. It's a bit getting used to, especially if you want to do some continuous integration and continuous deployment, especially the deployment part is, well, difficult, let's say difficult. Uh, but uh, but I'm getting there. It's it's fun. It's it's new stuff I'm learning. So uh, that's fun. Uh, and today uh, for for this stream, uh, what I want to accomplish or at least do is create some application registrations via PowerShell or via the Azure CLI and configure them to have some app roles and well. All of the stuff I did in the past episodes via the Azure portal, configuring my AD. I want to script it now so I can destroy the current app registrations and create new ones. Uh, well, create new ones in an automated way. So this is uh, learning for me, learning something new for me, uh, because most of the time I don't have to do this. And well, uh, I want to know how this works and also the projects I'm at can benefit from this uh, because now I'm just creating well, a big document on click here, click there, click there and put this text over here and I want to provide them with a script. So it's kind of work related also uh, but mostly for my sessions I'm, I'm having on this subject. So. If you're listening, if you're viewing, how are you doing? Let me know. Let me know. I'm interested in, to know what what's happening at, at your place. Uh, it's summer over here in the Netherlands, uh, so we have uh, quite a bit of sun, uh, which is uh, which is nice. I, I got a small tan uh, yesterday because I was at the beach with the kids. Which which is which is fun. They're uh, two and three years old, so they were playing in the water, uh, and and building sand castles. So it was fun times. Well, the color is a bit different compared to the last times. That's because I added a lot. A a what 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 is a lot? What does it stand for? Lot. Lot stands for. Reload lookup tables, a color lookup table, um, so which is meant to well do to do some color grading, some some uh, getting better colors from your camera. Um, so this is the lot I chose now. I also did some other color uh, color grading on it uh, to do the gamma and brightness a bit higher, saturation a bit higher, not too much. I kind of like uh, this this color, or at least on my screens, that is. But if it's too off on your screen, let me know. I can change it, obviously. Um, so so that's this. Um, yeah. Let's let's start coding. So uh, I've I've did some pre work, uh, some pre work already. So uh, this is the list what I want to do or need to do uh, in order to, well, create the app registrations which I have now. Uh, I also checked out, uh, well, 
Azure CLI create app registration. I searched for it. Got uh, got my first hit on the documentation, which seems to be well quite well documented. Display name. So this is the, this is the stuff I need. Apparently, you can push a manifest file to the app uh, registration or to the newly newly created app or app to update. Uh, so this is uh, interesting. I'm going to assume you can also do app roles with this because they live in the manifest. Well, everything lives in a manifest. So I could probably just export the existing one and uh, upload it. That's, that's kind of cheating. Or maybe it's cheating. And I found a, a nice post from, who is it? Damien Bot. Damien Bot. Author Damien Bot. Does he has a full name? Not really. He's an MVP. Damien Bot. So I don't, I, I'm not sure who this is. Well, it's a new post. Apparently, June twenty second. That's like only a month old. So this person, Damien, has a lot of PowerShell over here. I'm, I'm going to share this link in the chat so this is useful stuff it's a lot of powershell and i'm not sure i understand all of it or well i could read all of it and it's not that hard resource access so creating scopes it's a very dynamic script he's created and shared with us well, So that's, that's nice. Um, Azure AD app create with a lot of stuff. Okay, he, cre he creates a secret. I don't need a secret, or at least not, not for what I'm going to do now. Log out the URL. So if I get, if I'll get stuck with documentation, I can always go to, to this, uh, to this guide. Uh, but for now, I want to try doing it via the docs because what I need to do is quite simple. At least I hope it's quite simple. I need to create an app registration, and with the client I and I need a client ID and a tenant ID to configure in my application. Uh, redirect Yuri. It's not mandatory for what I'm going to do, but it's well. Why not add it? Only, yes, so this is not very difficult. Uh, the application ID, Yuri, which is something I also need. So I, I think, well, doing this, and uh, well, optional dummy scope. I think uh, this is the most important part, adding the application ID, Yuri. Uh, adding scopes for my Visual Studio and Azure CLI -like to connect to it is, well, nice, but not mandatory, like I said, optional, and adding the roles. So when I have this, it should be good enough. And then I have to assign the managed identity of my front-end application to the roles for which I already have some scripts, but I need the identifier of the enterprise application. Probably doable. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the script necessary for it. User assignment. Oh yeah. So and this is for the enterprise application. You can specify a, a checkbox if you want a request to be authenticated. Uh, if you want to authenticate or authorize requests before it hits your application. So this is also nice to have, not something I'm going to focus on because I think there's enough to cover for, uh, over here. So uh, AZ AD app create, AZ AD, let's see if it exists, if I have the module installed, Azure AD, so cool. 
has the module installed. That's good. <coughs> I'm, I'm just gonna start coding. Turning on the music. So I've created a small, uh, well, a variable for my test application. Um, Something like this. Okay, let's see if F5 works. Run and debug. Create a launch station. No. Okay, cool. I have a launch station now. Nice. So this is the first time I'm doing some debugging with... Hey, I didn't know this was a thing. So when I'm... Oh no, it, apparently it isn't. So, if I'm changing the size, oh, this is cool. This is cool, didn't notice. So apparently this works, I can watch stuff, cool. Stop. And it has created a, where does it live? Below, in my VS Code folder, cool. Oh, as you can see, I also created a conferences manifest, which is still empty, and the speaker manifest, which is empty, because I'm going to need it later on. Create apps. So, I'm going to close it. Close it. And I'm going to create an application. So, AGID create. Display name is application name. So I need app roles. App roles are defined in a manifest. So App roles and JSON, speaker manifest JSON. Let's call it speaker application run one. Okay. So should I do I only need to specify one? Yeah, most of the stuff is only has one manifest. So these are the roles. I've got them over here. Manifest contains the following content. I'm going to add it. Application user reader role. I'm going to keep this for now. Yeah, because this is still good. I could change the GUID, but doesn't matter much. So 
Now, what do we have more? I need to get the application ID. I can probably get it once the application has been created. What should, what will this do? Um, test app menu. Yeah, this is the wrong. It failed. Display name. Didn't I specify it? Display. Oh, it's. I can't even. <laughs> Copy paste stuff, correct. This is cool, so I'm getting a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Along with the app ID. And does it exist? Can I refresh this stuff? So, I would expect to have a test app manual now. here strange it's not oh I'm not the owner because I didn't specify myself as an owner it doesn't matter much I don't need to be an owner owner no one Delete. Okay, so <coughs> so this will be the created application. It will be this complete blob. <sighs> oh, did it have roles? Did it have roles? App roles. Sorry. Display name. stuff it's running the stuff in the wrong context so it's probably in the launch PowerShell PowerShell Not in integrated. Mm. Fierce code. Should be 
that difficult. Anything. What's what is this called? No. Select default shell. I don't want to integrate it. How can it change this? problem with this integrated one is it's not logged in it's not using my default PowerShell profile should create this file new that's kind of hacky but it will probably work so this is this one Copy path. Shit. 
now it is logged in. At least I think it is. And create apps. Mm, still not. Doesn't work. Okay, so this could be due to this one. Okay, so that was the back tick. Back tick works in my terminal. Do I need to do an ampersand? Do I need to do an ampersand? Do you know? Damien. So this is all a big one liner. Like I try to limit the number of one liners because I don't think it's very readable. So a backtick or a pipe. Emeralds is empty. Well, that's what I expected. So trying to. start out with something which doesn't need the speaker manifest JSON because there are other things identifier Yuri identifier Yuri is Our Yuri's is okay. SCPS. And what did I have over here? an API yes this speaker application <coughs> okay. okay so the problem was the manifest chase. So there are now 
two. Expose name for speaker application. Cool. And which is there more? Key type, key uses, key value, native app, optional claims, reply URLs. So this is something I want to specify. Sorry. Reply URLs is HTTPS. Um, it's, it was bogus information, which I had, right? Uh, which was, where was it? Authentication, yeah. Um, paper application slash auth. Okay. Required resources accesses. What does this one do? And the manifest. So resources access. Resource scopes and roles. Application requires access to. Okay, so that's probably something. If my application needs access to some other service via scope, this is probably it. So it's not something I need at the moment. Start date. So this is the update with the creation. Available to other tenants. This should be a hard false. Cli credential description. Credential description. The description of the passwords. And date homepage. So that's everything I can specify. I should also specify the app roles over here, but I'm gonna try it. Now. <laughs> That's true. Um, so there's this PowerShell. Do it. PowerShell. What, what is it? Create a new GUID. Isn't there a better way to do it? This. application of so this is good I have ID tokens which isn't necessary if I'm not mistaken so implicit grant where's the I 
think it should be false. I'll, I'll check in a minute. So single tenant certificates, none, token configuration, API permissions. I need the user read. Oh, do I? Do I need the user read? I think I do. So this is the scope. Huh. So when creating an application ID, Yuri, it also created a scope. I'm okay with it, but client applications. So I could add Visual Studio to this scope. Huh. Okay. Um, so next run. tokens is still on and what was it over here oh. I did tokens is off probably something I can configure in the manifest itself Manifest contains the following. So, where does it state how the manifest should look like? Samples? No. from Jason. Convert from Jason. So now I have this object. Let's see if this works. Oh, sorry. So this is a uh, strange now. Let me copy this a bit to a new window. Yeah, it's an object, obviously. So, add another display name. Maybe I shouldn't do this just yet. So, it looks like oh, this will crash. look like I can create the same application multiple times which is nice which is nice so I got the object ID which is something I need permission 
This also looks like the manifest. So if I were to guess the manifest looks like this format and I need to have this looks a bit weird to have rolls app rolls because that's what I have in the manifest so I think what I whatever file I'm posting over the right was already there so app rolls is an array and I'm gonna post this stuff. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. It looks like when I'm creating a new application, it creates or at least updates the one it has already created. I had expected an error because I had expected this to be idempotent and need to call the update instead of the create. Anyway, I don't care much for this, or not much. I don't mind if it's not as unimportant as I expected it to be. Um, allow ID token implicit flow. I want this to be false. So that's probably the ID token. I have two permission. Let me check if I can also add Visual Studio to the authorized applications. So for local development has this ID, pre-authorized applications, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, but which code? So I can add the pre-authorized applications over here. I just don't know which code. Per which permission ID because that one is created over here if I'm correct yes so this one I can get it This is the manifest. So what do I need to do? What did I what have I done already? So create an app. So this is doable. Application ID. Am I getting it? App ID, yes. So I've got the app ID. Tenant is something I can get. Is it also here? No, but tenant is something I can get quite easily. I don't need to get it from over here. But either like Yuri, I've created it myself over here. Either here in this um, so and it's the identifier here, not the redirect.
Okay. So apply URL. Apparently priced is also. Okay. Um, so I got this. Yes. 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 Adding the API permissions. Oh, I'm going to test. Um, yes, I've got this also. API permissions. I'm going to add that one in a minute. So it ran. Mm. Manifest, so I've got no app rules. In a way, that's good. Oh, and how about the ID token? Um, so nothing has changed over here. Let me make another one. Oh, there are. <laughs> oh, it is idempotent. You can have multiple applications with the same display name, which kind of makes sense <laughs> because it's a display name. It, yeah, that's cool. That's actually what I had expected. ID tokens is still selected because I haven't referenced the manifest file. Um, kicker manifest JSON. But also, uh, so the aprons, okay. Required resource access now. App rolls. Oh, you can also specify the identifier over here. That's nice. Would this be the object identifier? Application object identifier. And this way I can make it API to something I like better. Six has been created. So this one is <coughs> API permission. Um, 
expose. 8.3b. 8.3b isn't over here. Okay, 8.3b. Is it the enterprise application? What was I looking for? What is this ID? Identifier URI application ID or object ID. can't specify it with the create. You have to use the update for this. Okay. Makes sense. <coughs> so I can just rename this one to tokens is specified so manifest to have app rolls I have app rolls now so that's what I was going for ID token is true but it's not much of a problem <clears throat> but that's everything I can do with the create, I think. So now I can use the I delete, but delete, yes, delete, yes. Probably create some PowerShell for this. So let me let me try it. List. Okay. 
Display name starts with oh, can okay, I just <coughs> run this? Session twenty two. Okay, so it does work. How oh, about the filter? Substring off. Unsupported. Okay. So this is a lot of how are they? It is an array. Yes, it's an array. Work? No. 
Right host gonna be bound. Oh yeah. I knew that. A C A D F. What was it? Living on the edge. App delete ID. Expected more arguments. for each. How to pipe a for each for each object. This doesn't feel right. App ID. So there's no ID. Might be missing it. So I only got the app ID. So that makes sense. in my script folder. Sure takes its time. Learn something new. And let me see. And they're gone. Cool. So I can start a new.
Cache me there. Um, what did I do? Oh yeah, I need to add API permissions. User read permissions. API permission. Okay. So there's Is this manifest? Required resources access. Okay, so this is it. Now I got the application dot ID. Great application. Back ticks don't work properly. somewhere some years ago you shouldn't use write host you should use write information error debug stuff like this I don't know why but that's what I remembered not doing it enough though I think it's the Microsoft graph Creating. I think it's the graph, right? Oh, let's let's first. Um, so this is. Let me copy this one. This is app ID. <clears throat> um, resource app ID. Graph resource ID. And we have the user read permission. Uh, 
uh, granted no admin consent required Okay. Back tick, back tick. No back tick. And it's Just to be explicit. My wife is texting me. One moment. She asks if I'm almost finished. So I am. I'm gonna try out this one, run one. Uh, did I already do it? No. Okay, so run one. Let's see if this works. No, it didn't. Why? Not enough values to unpack. Expected to got one. Okay. So didn't write anything, any stuff anymore. So this fell. No, this didn't fail. Of right information wrong. Right information Maybe.
I think it was a scope. Yeah. My bad. I'm doing it again. Three. Okay. Let me see. I've did three now. So now permission grant. why this is necessary oh right but I can imagine I understand why this is necessary just annoying Probably need some time to catch up. Hmm, that's strange. This might take a while then. Which I can't, which is something I can understand. Okay, so it got granted now.
one AT. What what's the thread sleep? Delay delay in PowerShell. What's the best practice for this? Start sleep. Okay. Or at least do I? Do I? Yes, it's probably here now. Because I have permissions, I've also got an enterprise application, or at least I think that has something to do with it. And I need this application ID later on, 08AA. Have I gotten it over here? No. A A E Yes, so the client ID. Okay, so I need this one. Um so what is this called? What's the resource ID? Free CD properties. No. Owners. So I can probably get the application ID from this. Okay, now I got this one. Enterprise application details looks like this. further as I thought I would be. Um, yeah, so this is a manifest file.
I need this later on to go get the ID. Okay, um, so I've got this added roles. need to add Visual Studio, the optional step. Still need the optional step, add the dummy scope. I can misuse the one I have now, but... Okay, so for next time, what I'm gonna do is I'll add a dummy scope, or well, I'll keep that for later on if I, for, it's a bonus. Um, so uh, next time I'll be assigning the managed identity from my front-end application to the enterprise application to have permission to well, connect to it, which is something I can do with AZ REST calls, which I've already done before. Uh, so that should be quite doable. Um, I already have the identifier of the role. I can get the identifier of the managed identity from AAD using some CLI command. I have the ID of the enterprise application. So this should be about, oh, maybe 15 minutes or so, maybe less, if I'm lucky. Uh, so afterwards I'll be creating a nicer script with, with some better variables, some function names, etc. But this is, this is quite doable. I'm quite happy with the outcome. Oh, let me, let me, uh, re delete. Let me delete again all the speaker applications and also the enterprise application. Can I delete this stuff? Can I delete an enterprise application? Probably. Don't know how. It's probably something one can do. Well, maybe if the app registration is gone, this one will be removed also. It's not sure, not sure. The command's running at the moment. So, every application is gone now, let me speaker, and enterprise application is gone also, so that's, that's automatically handled for me. Cool. Um, I'll be pushing this in my branch, so, uh, well, for now, thanks for watching. Um, yes, stage, create apps. And then it has to create that registration in AD. Work in progress. So, tracking it. It's a, it's a branch. You can watch all the code whenever you have time. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you for watching. And if you have anything to add or questions, please uh, hook me up on Twitter. It up, whatever. Uh, I'll try to. Uh... Hey, Kevin! Wow, thanks for the raid. I was just, I was just closing, closing up. So, I th I think I saw a, a tweet of you a couple of weeks back. The feeling when you get raided and you're about to close down. Well, that's what's happening to me right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I have to get down to the wife to, well, do, do something, some nice stuff with her also. So, uh, thanks for the raid. I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully see you all next time. Uh, anyway, thanks.